Hello Lolas. So welcome to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, I will be live tonight um, around 8ish in the chat box. If you guys have not joined, the link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 a month to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. Um, it's where I do exclusive live streams. Um, tonight, um, I will probably do, uh, the interactive, interactive live stream. I kind of like that where, you know, um, you guys can get on and talk to as well. So it's, it's pretty cool that way. Um, so get your hair done, you know, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, so. I am here with baby Nigel and I am Nigel is the Willow Awake by Claire Teller. Um congrats to Claire Teller for her kit sold out within minutes, although I tried um <laughs> me and a couple other people and I got the sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out every time I click on the options that I was going after. So I did not get one but i am gonna go again the next round i am gonna go try harder and um hopefully i get one that time um <clears throat> so i'm about to make a lot of different changes in my collection once again um you know <clears throat> sorry you know as you 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 go along and you know as people have said you know i really can't afford to you know keep up with all the the latest and the greatest um babies so that's why i'm always selling dolls to buy new dolls so and then sometimes i buy new dolls before i sell dolls so now i gotta sell sell the dolls to put the money back if that makes sense so i didn't know that didn't intend on buying an actual prototype this time around i seriously did not plan on doing it did not expect to do it it was a different scenario as noah noah was more of a gift um for my guy so um yeah i so this was totally unexpected so now i will be going through my nursery and between the dolls that i'm painting and the ones that i have i will be letting go um quite a bit of babies i'm going to take the time to really think about it because I've gotten to the point where I don't want to let go babies that I'm going to regret later. So I'm going to really, you know, finish painting a few and then I'm going to just sit there and decide who's going, who's staying type thing. But I'm going to try to do a video to show all the babies that I'm selling all at once if I can. Um, a lot of people have asked me like who my favorite is and who I like the most. I'm going to say this now and it may change. I'm just giving y'all a warning. It may change a little later because he's fairly new. But I want to say that I actually like him more um, than I do my Noah. And I love my Noah. Don't be mad. Noah is still my dream baby and everything. And Noah has, it's weird because Noah is very modeled. He has all the details as well um, as this baby. In fact, they I didn't realize how much, how similar their paint style was. It's just, you know, it shows up differently on him. But I realized that, you know, Noah does have almost the same paint style. Because at first I was like, wow, it's different than Noah. But not as much. Um, the texture is different on this one. Um, but... I don't know this one just speaks to me a little bit more and um the the skin tone i don't know if it's because it's more closer to my biological children um or what but yeah so um anyway um i mean i can see some there there is some difference in her paint style for sure but I don't know it's just right now it's just him so um i just i don't know i love love these little the, the size of them and everything and um somebody else messaged uh in the comments in one of my video asked me like um the size and i had an artist 
message me as you guys see I'm not holding his head and um and I'm not holding his head so I see my hands are here um his little head will wobble so you do have to support it um but yeah so and so he's a a, a little cuddle bug but yeah so they asked me his size and I sh I will put a baby next to him let me see who I got close by I'll do a video and I'll put a baby close to him but he is um newborn zero to three month um he definitely unless like i have had like one um outfit that was like a three to six months but it was cut pretty small he was able to fit that but he is definitely still like more like a a, a baby baby um so yeah um I think he's 21 inches long so if that give you an idea so sometimes the camera may make them look a little bit bigger he is a good size and fun size to dress but he's not you know a monster size um his feet are still he still wear a size one um in his shoe well the baby deer brand is a size one um these are his little feet so i don't know if that helps to put it in my hand but um so I don't have like I said I don't have a baby that I can sit like right next to him only thing I have is my little micro premiums um this little baby is you can see the difference the she's more pinky and Bella this is a micro premium though no. Um, but you could see her skin tone versus his skin tone. So, and she will be, I know she will be being sold. Um, it's just, I haven't had a chance to really take good pictures of her and stuff. And that's the, one of the downfalls of buying multiple babies at one time. You get in the babies and you don't really get to really enjoy them individually because you get in so many it's kind of like you get caught up on one and then somebody lacks the attention so um <clears throat> anyway but yeah so i will be like i said i will be selling quite a bit of the babies oh yeah yeah i was supposed to be getting him dressed but yeah i'll be selling um i'll be selling quite a bit of of, of my dolls um i do know that my toddler will be staying um but that's about it for right now that i know of um you know these dolls aren't cheap and i know people get mad when they see that they're like oh my god like you know you just got that baby or we really like that one on your channel and stuff like that but when these dolls are so expensive, you have to, well, some people don't. Some people is rich. They they can do it. You know, some people are fortunate enough to have their fans send them free dolls. You know, um, you know maybe their twerking skills is better than mine. Their GoFundMes get more money. I don't know. But I have to sell to, um, to get... Um, I have to I have to sell a lot of times to make up the money I one of the things really to be honest is is that I just can't stand to see too much money invested in my hobby because this is a hobby for me and so you know I just that's how I choose to prioritize my my money um so I hope you guys understand as I do put babies up for sale um And, you know, it, a lot of people don't understand, like, if you, if I, if I get a baby and I don't particularly like the style or I don't like the baby or something like that, it doesn't mean that it's a bad baby. It's just that it's not for me. I've gotten rid of babies that I did not want 
did not care for and it's become somebody else's dream baby so vice versa i've gotten babies that somebody else didn't like that was a dream baby for me so you know it's it's definitely um it's definitely all in the um in the preference i love it's i'm sorry i get distracted because i love right here he has like these wrinkles and I just like seeing them and I, I get I get distracted because I'm like, uh, but yeah, he, he is a, a, a sweetie pie. I just, I like the size. I, um, I'm really excited because I'm excited about my toddler coming back. Um, she had her head, hair rooted. So I'm really excited about that. I have, um, other babies that are coming that I'm really excited about as well. And, um, you know, it's been, it was nice to be able to see the um, toy doll in person and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, it just gives me more options. And when I get ready to shop in the future, I know what what's out there and stuff like that. Because I like to see it in person. So, you know, it's, it's, a uh, so it's, 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 it's a lot of uh, fun to get new babies, but. Say, look at your mama. I hope you gotta hold my head. Look, you gotta hold my head. So yeah. Yeah, so <clears throat> I love um I love the sculpting on this doll. Man. I saw another baby that I really, really like, but I contacted the um, seller. It, and I, well, I actually commented and the seller contacted me. And I um, asked, was, you know, I think I asked in the comments, would they be sold as blanks? And they came back and said, yes. And um, so, but when I found out what the price was, um, it had no features and it was the firmer silicone and it was for, um, was higher than the the Willow kits with all the features. So I kind of that was not 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 for me because I I would have for that price I would have wanted soft silicone um, at this point and um, like arm you know the elbow armatures at least, but. Um, it didn't, but it was really pretty. Gosh, it was really pretty. So I am going to keep looking at different babies because I really enjoy painting the silicone and I want to try different different sculpts and different, you know, different artists <clears throat> and stuff like that. But I made myself made up in my mind that um that I'm just not gonna paint just anything. Um I see some some affordable uh, blank kits and stuff, but if they don't appeal to me, I just can't do it. And I see a lot of very talented um, silicone artists, and I've actually spoke to a few of them, and they they will they have told me that they don't necessarily like the dolls that they paint sometimes, but they just paint what you know that's gonna sell, and you know if the Collectors are buying it and they want it, they paint it. So, you know, and they still do good at it. Like, I see, like, A-plus paint jobs on, you know, less than mediocre kits. And it says, it speaks volume about that artist that they have that ability to do that. They are able to still paint amazingly on something, on a canvas that's not as nice as you know the others but i'm not there yet um i have to be highly motivated to um i have to be highly motivated to to paint something um and i don't if i don't like the sculpt i just is i don't tend to do as well i'm just being honest and that's another reason why i don't do customs because People will ask you to paint stuff that you don't like, and then, you know, you, what do you say? I don't like it. I mean, that's, 
not nice. So, um, I don't know. I just want to try it. Maybe one day I'll get to that level, but I don't, it's not me being picky. It's just that I know my, my, my strengths and my weaknesses. And <clears throat> it was just like me talking with my colleague the other day and, um, he writes and I was asking him like is it hard for him to just write for anyone and he was saying that you know no he could he could write he could just write and I'm like for me I when I write I have to feel it and that's the same thing with when I paint when I paint I have to feel it I have to like what I'm painting um or just I mean it's, I'm not saying that it'll come out terrible but I don't feel like it's going to be my best work. And I could be just judging myself too harshly. But I don't feel like I'm on that level yet. Um, you got some of these people that's been doing this for years. And so they're, they're skilled to, and they're used to doing customs and taking orders and stuff like that. So they have a different skill set. Um, I haven't acquired that yet. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not going to say I'm brand new, but... I'm still learning you know everybody have to keep in mind that when I started painting I started painting for myself um, just for me to have dolls and I still kind of really do that I don't really paint for a career if, if that makes sense I kind of I do it as needed <laughs> or you know if I have too many or sometimes I just want to paint a doll like there's a scope, you know, that out there that I just want to paint. I just want to paint it. Even, you know, just like, like I said, like the, the willows. I have, I have two willows. <clears throat> I don't necessarily need another willow, but I just want to paint it. So, um, I just want to see what it looked like if I paint it. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's like that. And I've seen, um, some of my artist friends no longer, um, they stop. What is this? Where is the button for this? Oh, maybe that goes there. I've seen some of my artist friends where they stop collecting and all they do is paint. So it's like they get more joy out of just painting the dolls and then sending them off. They just want to see them and paint them and be done. Um, I don't think I'll ever get to that point because I am a real true doll lover. So I don't, I don't think that I'll get there. But so yeah, so, and then I gotta paint, my mom wants a Dwayne now. So I gotta paint her a Dwayne. It's just like, I got a list of babies that I gotta paint too. So it's gonna be interesting in the next few months. And then the doll show is coming. I'm having real grand twin babies, which I'm getting so excited because my they're, my daughter is getting further along. She's to a point where, um, you know, I'm starting to feel like the babies are, you know, when the babies get to the point where they'll be able to survive if they come early and stuff like that, it it takes a lot off because I've been stressing and not wanting her to know that I'm stressing. So, um, I haven't even begun to really shop, shop, shop for them because I wanted to wait until she got further along. So, I think she's at that point. I am planning her baby shower right now and stuff, so now I'm going to start doing that grandma thing time to spoil the girls I, I i can't believe i'm gonna be a grandmother it's just it's the most amazing thing so don't expect to see a lot of babies on my channel because i'm not one that hovers over real babies so that probably won't happen but um the jury is still out on that but i know she's gonna need help because it's her first babies if at first and she's having two at one time so you know how that is I'll be the over bearing grandmother for a little while I'm sure but I'm gonna try to make sure I get everything that she need that will help her um, you know to make her her job as a mother a little bit easier um, you know so Anyway, guys, that is it. I know this is an extremely long video. Sometimes I think I just make videos just so I can sit here and hold him. And, um, I don't know. 
I know you guys are probably going to get tired of him, but bear with me. The newness is still here. So, um, we'll, we'll, it'll, I'll get back to showing another baby soon. <laughs> Bye.